agreement, say, <laughs> social security. <laughs> we were discussing, you see, if I end up in prison, there also I have to work to make a living. That's true. Huh, that's yeah. true. That's too much. <laughs> that's true. It's not worth it. Not worth it. You know, once I was there... That's I'm what I say. I want to show you the picture of my, of my, the woman I'm living with. You are living with the woman? I'll, I'll show you. Yeah. I was there, I gave an interview on BBC. Yeah. And that guy asked me, he said, sir, we forgot uh, to ask you to sign a contract, you will get 250 pounds yeah. for the interview. Yeah. And he said, that was a guest of the week. And then I said, I'm illiterate. Hmm. I don't know how to sign my own name, and that guy said he was very sharp, uh, the director. And uh, we made your thumb impression, he said. <laughs> it took a little time for me, then I told him I have a criminal record in England. If it falls into the hands of the police, so probably, you. probably your Queen, Her Majesty, the Queen Elizabeth, uh -huh. will be forced to invite me as a chief guest and put me in prison. Uh -huh. uh, he said, uh, you have a sense of... What is this, a CD? That it will a show CD you later. There on the right. web page is there. Okay. Even okay. The, my interviews, everything. Uh huh. Screaming and screeching, I call it. All right. Screaming, screaming. So, so whatever you want to know about me is there. All the links. All the missing links. Not missing links. There. I am linked with so many, thousands of them. You find crazies and even tea bodies. Should I take off my jacket or leave my Not jacket on? You, if you are you hot, you might be hot. It is very yeah, warm. Yeah, take it off. Boy, is it warm. <coughs> Why should you take it off? Because uh -huh. <coughs> How long ago was it? Long time. Well, it was the time that Lily came for the first time, and that was 1990. Yeah, yeah. 1990 almost. Spring of 1990, I think. 10 years. Come on, don't give me a hard time. That's working. All right. So today is January. 14th? No. Today is 15th. 15th. That's January, January 15th. But it's 14th somewhere else, 16th in some That's other true. part of That's the world. That's true. That's true. In New York, it's January 15th, 2001. Beginning of the new millennium. Beginning of the new millennium. Whatever the word. Okay. Okay. You think it's going to be any the different? All the prophets, uh, like yeah. you, must they say they say the it's going to get worse up. before it gets better. No, that's the comfortable way of putting things. <laughs> you see. But yes. what you have to say is very important, what they said. You know. mm -hmm. I tell you, my grandfather is, he used to tell me, I'm going to leave behind a better world than the world he was born into. Okay. And I laughed at it. I was a young boy, eight or nine years old. And then, you see, if he were here today, he would have committed suicide. Right. You see, and he, two world wars, mm. you know, the first world mm. war, they said you, to make the world safe for democracy. Yep. And how many political systems were born out of that? Right. Uh, communism, right. socialism, right. all right. kinds right. of right. things. Right. Right. And then the second world war, they said the war to end wars. Yes. And now 30 wars are going on at this moment everywhere in the world. Right. So right. why they believe right. that, you see, it would be a wonderful world, that they would contribute right. something right. Right. which right. would make right. the world safe for those political systems and yes. then for us too. Yes. You know? yes. Yes. As an young boy, I used to give lectures, I was very popular, very famous. And so the youth shall reshape the world. Yeah. And the world in transition, those were some of my titles. Even the vice chancellors decided over, mm -hmm. the heads of the universities, I addressed so many colleges on right. those wonderful themes, you know, the world in transition, transition from where to where and what to what. Yeah. And we imagine all kinds of things, you see. The problem for the people, uh, then even now, and it will remain the same, well, I'm not here to talk, you see, is uh, that uh, we want to bring about a change in us, mm -hmm. you see. Mm -hmm. And people talk, uh, we see teaching, the teaching implies that using that teaching to bring about a change in us. Right. You say a change in man right. will be able right. to fit it into this world harmoniously and live happily. Or you want to change the world. Mm -hmm. You see, into a better mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that we can all fit in. Mm -hmm. 
Right. And I don't see anything wrong with this world. I have lived 85 and a half years on this planet. I have no problem at all to fit into this world. I'm in perfect uh, harmony with the world exactly the way it is. Mm -hmm. There's no need for us to change and there's no need for us to talk about changing the world. Mm -hmm. And what is our problem, you see? And the problem, uh, the solutions they are offering or whatever they are suggesting to bring about a change in you and a change in the world around us mm -hmm. is really the problem for us. Mm -hmm. The problem is that we don't need to change. There is no problem there. No, the solutions offered by those people are really not the solutions. You see, if they were the solutions... So the problem is that people think they need to change. They, they, they assume, presume that there is a problem. Okay. The problem and is we presume And then we accept, you see, because we have to put our trust, faith mm -hmm. in those people who we think have the solutions for our problems. Whether okay. they are okay. the religious people or the okay. politicians or okay. economists, uh, yes. all of them, you see, you see, everything that we have uh, put our faith in is nothing but a modified continuity of the same religious thinking of man. Okay. You know? There was an article yesterday that appeared in the New York Times that, would, that, that I think you would have enjoyed. The article is about atheism. Yeah, but I have one basic uh, uh, position, if I may put it that way, not that I have any positions, against a peace. You see, if you have lost faith in God, mm -hmm. and you have no business to go around the world converting people to become a peace, you are finished with mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what I am emphasizing all mm -hmm. the time, those theists and atheists are also right, right, still right, involved right, with right, God. Right, right. Now the, I, I understand what you're saying. The yeah. thing that was interesting in the article is the article tried to evaluate whether religion has really contributed anything to people. Whether people would be, those people are going to be ethical, be ethical with the religion or without the religion. As whether or not religion has really helped in any way. Not this at was all. not at all. This but all right, you see, you forget about the religion. Right. All the political ideologies and mm -hmm. our legal system okay. is nothing but a modified okay. continuity of the same. Okay. Assuming I, for a moment I, I, assuming for a moment I understand that, what you're assuming saying. Assuming for a moment that husband and wife should right. live in great right. harmony right. Right. Uh, and in peace, you see it has failed for whatever reason. Okay. If you don't do it, you see okay. you're going to hell and pay the price. Okay. All right, now we have created a legal system yeah. which demands that we should you say, register our marriage. Right. You understand that? Right. Uh, and how is this different from that? I want to know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Also, the legal, right. uh, the legal system that right. we have created right. is a worthless system. You see, I, I sit here and I refuse to move. This is what I tell all these top lawyers and judges who come to see me. And then I refuse to move. I'm a squatter here. And what would you do? You try your best to persuade me, plead with me, try to force, and your limited force you have in right. your command, right. faith. Right. 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 So you go to the court, and the lawyers argue in your favor or against mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. and the judge gives a judgment. Right. All right? I don't have any trust in the legal structure. And I don't believe in all that. I don't give a damn to the decision given by the judge. Right. What would you do in such a situation? You bring the police and force me out of this place. So force is still the instrument which we yes. use yes. to convert people. Yes. And now we don't have to use force because we all have become masters in playing with the words. That's good. You see, That's, good. That's good. And you are a wordsmith and another That's guy good. is another That's wordsmith. Good. And they are creating different. Uh, let me play a little bit with words since you okay. since you mentioned. I'm that. not good at that. Let me play a little bit. All right, bit. go ahead. <laughs> and, and, and from where I'm coming from. And what interested me in when I discovered you. Yeah. Now you know how I discovered you? You told me and it's there in the T V interview you gave yeah. I, I found the book The Mystique of Enlightenment. Okay. And the thing that particular and, and, and the interesting there are two parts here. Number one, when I read the book, I said, this could be true, this could be craziness, you know, this could be a hoax. But before I left India, the last week I was in India, the last day I was, I was in Madurai. Yeah. I was in a, in, in a hotel from the, from the company. Yeah. 
And I walked out of my room, and on the table, laying on the outside, were two things. It was the, the, the India Times, yeah. and it was the magazine, the Illustrated Weekly of India. India yeah. And on the cover was uh, Parveen. Yeah, it's movie I Okay? And I looked at these articles, and I said, it must be for me, there is nobody else in the hotel. Yeah. So I took it, I put it in my bag, and I, I went off to Bombay. When I get to Bombay, I open the article, and whose name do I find in there? Who's she talking about? She's talking about Yuji. Yeah. So before I left, I already had in my hand some kind of a confirmation yeah. about the book that I was carrying in my bag. Yeah. Okay. When I read the bag, the thing that interested me was a footnote. Yeah. And the footnote said that one of the things that Yuji experienced was some place in the temple blowing up and it said like Moses and like the Taoists. Yes. Okay. So I said, if that's what Moses experienced, then I have a whole different understanding of what may have been happening to Moses. Yes. Can I ask you a question? Yes, yes. Sir. Where, where in your head did this happen? No, no, we don't want to talk about that, where it happened, or why it happened, when it happened, or has anything happened. Mm -hmm. You see, what I have uh, uh, against all that experiences, experiences they are talking about experience, right. has resulted in the religious teaching of uh, those people. Well, no, 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 let, 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 let me explain my motivation. No, 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 let me explain my motivation because no, no, it's very easy to misunderstand me, yes. where, I'm, where I'm coming from. Yeah. The book that I'm working on is the kind of book that, I'm going to use a very harsh word, will almost be destructive right. of the authority of religion. Yes. In other words, I am out to challenge this authoritarian attitude that something has happened unique in human history at, at given times which gives a monopoly to certain people that they have the only ones who have the Word of God. This is what I'm out to challenge. All right, you see. Then they would call you, you are an iconoclast, you are an atheist. Don't call me a heretic. Heretic. Okay. Have, I, am prepared, have, I am prepared for that. Yeah, you are prepared. I am prepared for that. that. And and Are you interested in replacing that with what you have to say? That's had bothered me, you know. Yes. I don't like to take something away from somebody until I can give them something better. Yeah, that is what people yeah. want. That's, that, 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 that has been the biggest... The problem with us all is that we believe, that's also I believe, that there is a somebody there who believes in this. Okay. What I'm okay. Then let me, then let me, again, let me just spell out my motivation. No, let me complete this. Go ahead. And there is nothing there but belief. I, 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 the I belief you. is you. I hear you. So I hear you. we cannot function in this world without replacing one belief with another belief. If the belief comes to an mm -hmm. end without mm -hmm. replacing mm -hmm. the belief, mm -hmm. the belief is coming to an end. Yes. And what all is there is you and you are going to well, come to an end. I, that's, I, that's think, I think that I what know. we are both agree for yeah. is that relief, belief has to be replaced by chaos. No. By chaos. Chaos is you don't have a belief, no. you, you know that you don't know, and you give up. No, what I'm emphasizing is so many people ask me about anarchy, there's going to be an anarchy here. They, an anarchist, right. see, they want right. to... Right. Uh, protect this society okay. against the okay. anarchists. Okay. You see, in anarchy, there is any such thing as anarchy. And if it is a total anarchy, okay. there is no action there. I think that the Bible has been distorted. The message of the I, Bible I, I, has been severely I, distorted. I allow, allow me just to, to say one or two sentences. Yes. I'm very slow, you see. I can't take in um, okay. so many... Uh, Okay. Okay. Yes. I'll, 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 I'll slow down and repeat myself. Yes, all right. In spite of the fact that the Bible has been used in the way that it has to, ins to according to many, enslave people and, and, and lock them into belief systems, the, the beautiful thing about what I see in the Bible is that the Bible says that the, 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 the end of times, okay, when human beings will change, all right? And uh, the, the, 
impression I get from the Bible is this will not be dependent on anything that human beings do. There is nothing that human beings can do to make it happen. But, and, and it's only going to happen... What is happening you are talking about? Okay. No, I'm trying to understand you. Uh, I'm not talking I'm trying, I'm trying to, to answer you. All right. Okay. Yeah. According to the Bible, there will be a time when people will live in peace. Something which we certainly don't see. No. Okay? It has not happened. And, and the probability is that as long as people are the way they are, this species, it's not going to happen. Okay? Yeah. I, I give you three, three sentences. I have three one-liners. My one-liner is that Adam before the fall was a Neanderthal. In the beginning, human beings were like Neanderthal. The second stage is Homo sapien, is a species programmed to self-destruct into a new species. And my third position is that, uh, according to the Bible, humans are doomed to become robots. Yeah. All right? This is what I think the Bible teaches. There will be a final stage. What, what is the Bible interested in? Preventing the human beings to become robots? No, the Bible is not interested is in preventing. Yeah, it's, not in, it's telling us there will be a different kind of species. All right. And these species will be able to live in peace. Yeah. Now, the key to me is that human beings are not going to make this happen. There's nothing that human beings can do that will make this happen. But what makes you think that the human species will remain on this planet forever? You well, the internet, you're right. You're no, absolutely, no, you're, you, you are right. In fact, the Bible the says... I'm right or wrong. Okay, what okay. I'm emphasizing Let me is. respond to you, because yeah. I agree. Yeah. The Bible says, in the end of days, and it will be in the end of days. Now, what does the end of days mean? It's going to come to an end. Yeah, but we will not be there to see whether the whole thing has come to an end. We may not be. Yeah, but we see, may not be. You no, know, but we are interested in. You see, what I am trying to emphasize is why you have 250 denominations, Christian <coughs> denominations, yeah. here in this country today. Yeah. You see, yeah, yeah, they yeah, all yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. You see, uh, come out of the same biblical right stuff right that they started with. Right. So why do you have to bother about interpreting the Bible in a different way in the light of what you have found for yourself and by yourself? Why don't you throw that, you see, in the garbage and say whatever you have found out in clear, unmistakable language and leave it to them. That's what I am doing. This is what I have found. But you have your path. Huh? You have your path. Not at all. No, I don't talk of a pathless reality. Well, and you, you see, the first step you, is the last. You do step. what you do. I have to do what I have to do. No, I'm not doing anything. You have come and made me talk. I'm a dog here, <laughs> and you are okay. making me so, bark like a dog. Okay. And you are translating uh, this. I no no. I started out by saying why I was interested and why I was affected by what I think UG in quotes represents. Yes. No. And the effect it had on me. The effect that it had on me was that when I went back to the Bible, I believed, I came to the conclusion that what really happened in the Bible has been totally distorted. Yeah, I now, I can, I can take this and go in the closet and say, okay, that's my business and don't tell anybody about it. Yes. That's one choice. Yes. The other choice is to come out and say, hey, wait a minute, let's go back and look at the Bible. Let's take the key, and this, this you may be very well offended by, yeah. but let's take the key of this man called Yuji, see what he went through, see what Moses went through, see what the Bible is talking about it, and you get a totally different effect. Why do you have to still relate everything to the Bible? You are still stuck with that Bible. You saw that I'm pointing Well, there is, a, it has done there it. is fortunately or unfortunately no more book that is influential on this planet than the Bible. No, but if you take the whole world, even Karl Marx influenced it. Majority of the people in the world. They yeah, but Karl Marx has not won. Karl Marx has not won. You know, Joseph Campbell. When I was in Russia, yeah. I know, I know. When I was in Russia, I made this statement in clear, unmistakable language. You yes. see, that uh, Karl Marx's Das Kapital is your Bible, right. and Stalin is the right. high priest, right. 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 and your right. state right. Right. is the church. So you are no different from... What, what you're saying is wonderful and beautiful. But I'll tell you what my ex-wife used to say to me. Yes. You are not Yuji. 
This is what she said to me. I think so. I am not Yuji. She was very right. Uh, you're not Yuji. So I can't do your your exactly. thing and you can't do mine. Yeah, and you was, may not be able to understand mine. She was mine. more intelligent than you. I'm sorry. I agree. I, I agree. I so agree. No, you wasted your ten thousand dollars savings. Okay. And then you see. Okay. And then he divorced. Uh, Okay. Divorced or not. okay. Well, her complaint was, yeah. you see, that nobody's paying any attention to me. Okay. Yeah, nobody would pay any attention. Okay. To so this is why now I have. If she I didn't have, pay any attention to you, she paid attention. Yeah, but you know she was she, terribly disappointed. She she paid attention. And okay? why did she want to? She you? paid attention, and she wanted the rest of the world to pay attention. The rest of the world did not pay attention. Okay. And I was told, very interesting. I went to Israel. And this has happened to me more than once. I have been told that I will never, I will not get any attention from the world until I am ready to accept the negativity that's going to come my way. I have to be ready. Yes. That's what I was told. Yes. So my thing is to do what I'm doing when, when, when I'm ready. It'll happen. People will pay some attention to me. But the attention is not going to be positive. But what do you care whether they pay any attention to you or not? That's a good question. Yeah. But you I just, do care. You just say I do care. You, I say that is I the care. problem. That is the You're problem. right. That is my problem. Yeah. That you is my problem. You just say whatever you want to say. Okay. Sing your song. Okay. And that. Okay. That. Yeah. I agree with you. No, not a question of agreeing or disagreeing. I understand what you're saying. No. I don't understand? If okay. you understood, Yuji, nice meeting you. Bye bye. You just walk. I will not be hurt. Okay. And then nice some, meeting you. Something. <laughs> even saying nice meeting you <laughs> is absurd. We are taught that we have to be nice. You know? Anyway, I'm glad to see you. <laughs> so, let me say my thing. Well, I, I want to say one or two more words. Yes, All yes. right? Say as much as you want. I want to say whether, whether you want to respond to them or not. What, what, what I have come to understand, you see the book that I'm working on is called The Secrets, The Sexual Secrets of Religion. It's not only the Bible. I have seen that all of religion yeah. and all of culture has been based on hiding and distorting and marketing things. Sure. Not what they are, no. but what they think will sell. Yes, definitely. Okay. And uh, sex, as you mentioned it now, is right. the most powerful right. drive. That's, that's, that you okay. understand. It's the sexual secrets that and scandals of, re of religion is, no. what, is what I'm focusing Con on. Condemning sex is, is the way okay. is that they uh, use, you see, to control people. Absolutely. Because we have, Absolutely. We have you see, the sex, has been, the sex, if I may use that word, is only for the purpose of reproduction. Right. And we, through the help of our thought, turn that into a pleasure movement. I'm not yes, saying anything against yes, it. Yes, anything against yes, it. Yes. You know, and so the problem is created by them, you see, to treat this as something extraordinary. Mm -hmm. It is not, uh, you see, there only for the reproduction. Right. And uh, uh, we are all created for some nobler and grander purpose than all the other okay. forms of life. I am now okay. different from. Okay. You see the mosquito that is biting me. Yep. Mosquitoes need my hemoglobin. Okay. To continue, you see the, uh, their continuity. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And only the female, if what they say is correct, you see, the, only the female mosquitoes yes. uh, bite us and not right. the male mosquitoes. Right. And so I am also contributing for the continuity of the mosquitoes. Okay. You see, okay. if I destroy them because I am frightened of mosquitoes, you right. see, right. Uh, harming okay. me, okay. you are creating disharmony okay. in this world. Not only like that. Can I share you? my favorite story with you? All right, sir. Yes. You have my favorite story. Yes. I think it's the most instructive thing I've ever heard. It's very short. Yes. yes. This man has a donkey Good. that's very stubborn. Yeah. You can't teach the donkey anything. So he's going around and he says, what am I going to do with this donkey? I can't, I can't, you know get through to the dump. So they told him, there's this guy, Joe, he is the best donkey trainer and he's the gentlest guy around. Yeah. Okay, get me to Joe. So he comes to Joe with a donkey and he says, I hear that, that you're the gentlest and the best. I want you to teach my donkey. He says, fine. 
It'll take a week. Said, okay. Before I leave, I'd like to see how you get started. He says, sure. Stay right here. Guy goes out, comes back with a big two by four, goes over to the donkey and whacks the donkey over the head and the donkey is staggering. He says, wait a minute, they told me you were the gentlest guy. He says, I am, but first I got to get his attention. Okay? That's where I'm coming from. I want to get attention. All these ideas that I talk about is for the purpose of getting attention. It's just the first whack. All right? Yes. So, so the attention that I want to get is that I say, hey, you know, according to the Jewish tradition, Moses became celibate which according to the Jewish tradition is not nice because you're supposed to have family values, you're supposed to be married. Why is Moses celibate? I say, no, Moses was not celibate. Moses probably was important. What? He was probably an important guy. That's exactly the point. That's exactly the right point. That's what they're hiding. He was impotent. Yes. That's exactly my, that's exactly my point. You yes. see? Yes. You see? Now, the question is, why was he impotent? So I say that this impotency is connected to his horns. Because the horns, if the horns are, are something that changes in the body, you see, if the eyes stop blinking, if the, if, which is supposedly very important for the brain, the brain you know, is not supposed to be able to function without blinking. This is what they, this is what they tell you. They say, so, why do you swallow that? Huh? Why do you swallow that? What the brain physiology? I didn't is. say it is true. I say that's it what I true. say. It is not true. The brain plays a very, very minor role in that living organism. Uh, it is singularly, that's, that's, that's it is good. singularly incapable of creating that, anything. Absolutely. It is just a absolutely. container and not, Abs a, not a creator. Beautiful. Yes. Well, what I'm saying is this yes. is the stick that I use to hit people over the head. Yes. I say Moses was impotent. He <laughs> did have horns. He did have horns. You yeah, see? I know, so they I say, no, he didn't have horns. He had, he had lights. I says, forget about the not lights. Not in that sense. I also had swellings here. Yes. And even now, you see you see, see these uh, swellings here. No doctor is ever touching, Where? you see here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You see, any time uh -huh. that is happening there, yeah. This yeah. is affecting the body. Only the body is affected by the quarter moon, half moon. Ah, moon, I see, I see. And okay. it is also okay. affecting the planets. Beautiful, beautiful. Planets. Absolutely. Yeah, so I, so, I'm, so this is what I'm connecting. Yeah. I'm connecting the impotency. Yeah. I'm connecting the horns. Yeah. I'm connecting... Uh, what was the other thing just flashed in my mind? What about the story that they tell in India? The guys, both the Moses and Jesus ended up in Kashmir. You have still their burial place yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, Helen, yeah, what yeah, is yeah. his name, Helen? Uh, Helen started a harem <laughs> you see, right, to right, raise right, money right, to right, take right. care of them and right. take care of himself. Okay. I never wanted okay. to go anywhere okay. near that place. Okay, okay. So this this is the picture <laughs> that I use. Talk about this, okay. this is the picture that I use to get the, the donkey's attention. Yes. The impotency, the horns. Uh, the thymus, the reactivation of the thymus. Yes. All right, which doctors today say in an adult the thymus doesn't function. No, they have changed their idea. Now there are hundreds of books written on the thymus now. When I said this last week yes. in Discover magazine, they're still talking about the thymus doesn't work in an no, adult. It don't. hasn't, it hasn't filtered through yet. You see, that undermines there, the very foundation of their medical I, technology. I agree, but yeah. it's it Discover Magazine. I just cut, cut out the article yeah, last is, that January. Is, that Discover Magazine is only useful for toilet paper. Right. It, it has not... Now, Jeremiah the prophet talks about, to me, the thymus. He says that... They may not have used that word thymus, but... Right. You know what word it uses? Second part. What? Second. No, no. Jeremiah says, I will put God's word on your heart. Yeah, yeah. Not in the heart, but on your heart. Why on your heart? What's on the heart? The heart is on the thymus. No, 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 it is all right. Yeah. Even Ramana Maharshi yes. talked about the real heart. You see, that is where the feelings are felt, not the emotional feelings. Yes. Yes. The body yes. is responding yes. to the yes. stimulus. Yes. And that they yes. were not ready to accept that at all. You okay. See that? okay. And if you, if you use your heart to feel, yes. you will have a cardiac arrest. Okay. okay. If you feel nice, okay. if you feel kind, okay. if you show any affection, okay. compassion yes. to your fellow beings, yes. you will have either bypass surgeries right. or end up right. you see, right. in the grave right. uh, with cardiac arrest will put you okay. there. So Sorry. this this is part of the picture that so I tie together. My line is uh, yes. when I when all these doctors come to see me, 
shoot them all on site and at site. Good. See, there is no good. use living the good. good, good, good. This is what the Talmud, the rabbi said in the Talmud 2,000 years ago. I, I don't know. The, the best at of the doctors should be killed. This is exactly what they at said. At that time, there were only a handful of doctors. Oh, now okay. we have thousands and okay. thousands of okay. them around the globe. Okay. Yes. Yes. And they are exploiting us and we allow okay. ourselves to be so exploited. This is I tell you, yeah. for 50, 60 years I have never, never listened to any doctor. Okay. I have never done anything that they wanted me to do. All of them are and dead and gone, I'm still here. And yes. I tell doctors, yes. Yes. if they want to give me any advice, do you want to live? If you don't want to live, it's fine, you can give the advice. Right. All of them are dead right. and gone, right. I'm still right. here. Right. Okay, so back to my shock treatment. Yes. The part of my shock treatment has to do with with reactivation of the thymus. Mm, anything you do with the artificial means. No, just no, like no, 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 not artificially. Yeah. Jeremiah says that the thymus will become reactivated. Okay, yeah. now, Thank what I know. found in the medical literature, and I think I discussed this with you once, is that thymus hormone is antagonistic to sexual hormone. Yeah. That's why a young child doesn't go into puberty right away because the thymus is so powerful. No, that's not true. You see, because they, you see that bitch there, I'm sorry, I don't want to use that word. Hillary made a statement yes, that yes, yes, the girls should yes. not make love before they are 21. Okay. And the next day, your Washington paper showed all about her sex appeals. And then you see the president and, right, 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 and, right, right, and right, Hillary right, right, went right, right, to right, right. the university there where she was studying yes. and they had lunch with her. You yes. see, they don't mean what yes. they are saying. Yes. All right. Yes. Now they have found out that the girls are maturing in their Much 8th early. year, 9th Absolutely. year, and some of them are pregnant. Absolutely. And so that, Absolutely. that theory is not Absolutely. workable anymore. Absolutely. Absolutely. But what I'm saying is that, according to some of the medical research, there's an antagonism between the thymus hormone and the sex hormone. Now, if that is, if that is valid, if, now, for a moment, if, if, if that is valid, yeah. then when the thymus gets reactivated, then the, then the sexual hormones will close down and that could lead to impotency. That you as you not know. only impotency, it is just not possible to have sex. Okay. You say it's not possible to have sex because the male organ changes. Yes, sir. Okay. The penis Both changes. changes. What? Both in changes. Both in changes. The, the, the testicles head. change. Yes. And the penis changes. Yes. Now the testicles theoretically can, can come back. And this is the, the penis also can come back properly, but that's not what we are concerned about. You see, their argument, yes. you see, up to a point is valid. Okay. That you see, the moment you become, uh, reach your 14th or 15th year, right. you see, our maturity in the case of uh, women, I made the statement, if nature intended that they should not make love before they are 21. Right. They should not make sure around their right. 14. Right. Yeah, right. They should right. not right. make sure right. around right. their 21st. Now right. they say it may not be a common thing everywhere. The fact that there are exceptions. Yeah. And that the girls are maturing in their 8th and 9th year, and some yeah. of them even yeah. have yeah. become yeah. pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. And all that shit right. that they are talking right. about right. and emphasizing, right. backing it up, their strange ideas and theories is right. of medical technology. Right. 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 So we are not interested in uh, uh, persuading them or ex uh, ask them to accept what we are mm -hmm. saying. Help mm -hmm. with you all guys, if there are enough fools in mm -hmm. this world, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you see. Oh, there was one other thing that I, yes, I, I, I keep forgetting to mention that you told me about. The breast on one side. Yeah. And that's very interesting to me. Yes. Because I believe that this happened to Moses also. <laughs> now why is it important? It's an because, aberration. What? It's an aberration. Yes, it is. Well, you have to yes, translate it, it. But I'll tell you why it's important biblically. Yeah, biblically. Okay. I I'll, te I'll tell you why. Yeah. I'll tell you why. Now, according to Jewish tradition, Moses was the, the holiest man. You can't get any holier than Moses. All right? No. So supposedly, if Moses goes through a change, where can he go to a higher... There's only one way he can go higher, and that's back to the first man, Adam. I don't know, yes. Stay with me. Ten seconds. Ten seconds more. Twenty seconds. All right. Give me twenty seconds. <laughs> if if you go, I don't want to hear from now. If if Moses goes back to Adam, how did God create Adam? God created Adam according to actually what the Bible says. Adam and Eve, androgynous. He was both male and female. Yes. So if Moses goes back, he goes back to androgyny. This is the breast on on, on one side. 
It's half male, it's half female. Yes. No, what makes you think that there is any difference between the male and the female? Well, <laughs> now, now no, let's go, no, now no, let's go. No, 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 you see, the other day I was watching a program, Gender Change. Right. 30,000 men have changed this. Right, right. And right. one of the very old yeah. uh, lady doctors made a very interesting statement yes. that uh, the, the gender is in your head but not in your body. She okay, said. okay. You know, yeah, 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 they did. There was a case where, where, they, where they did circumcision on the kid and they cut too much off. Yeah. So they, so they said, let's take the whole thing off and tell them he's a girl. Yes. And there is no difference between a man and a woman. I'm sorry. You see, man has no place uh, in the scheme of things. You see, yes. is very well, let's go back to robots. Very important. Let's go back to robots. And very think, important because yeah. man is there only to supply right. the sperm right. to impregnate so and give me. continuity to the human race. Good. Sorry. Are you any different from a robot? You see, I don't want you to use that word robot at all. You don't we like the word robot. No, we, we are all, you see... Computer? What do you, what do you call computer, yourself? Computer, yes. You're a computer. But, but, no, no, but far superior to the computer, we are uh, uh, playing with it. Okay. It is no Your computer has DNA. Is, I don't that know. computer doesn't have DNA no, the, yet. The They're trying to get there. The energy is there. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This yeah. is what I tell. People, all the top computer right, people right, come and right, see right, right. The moment you put selectivity yes. and censorship into the computers, their usefulness is finished. Okay. Yeah, because, okay. you see, okay. that's what is happening here in the human computer. Okay. We, you see, we okay. have censorship. Okay. What is good, what is not good, what you should do, what you should not do. Okay. You see, and then uh, selectivity. Yes. Also. Yes. So the moment yes, they succeed in putting those two things, you can throw them all out, see. Because you will use the computers to come out with the answers we are looking for in yes. our way. Yes, yes, yes. You program the computer to give you in the answer that you want. That's to a confirm, good point. To that's confirm a good, what we point. want the computers to confirm. That's a very good point. Yes. Right. And the amazing thing that I have found hidden in the Bible Although I think it's, it's obvious, I'm still Bible. I'm still talking yeah, that's Bible. Why you say is, is, I'm not UG, remember that. Not at all. I'm, I'm not only, UG. I'm only. I'm uh, Rabbi Al. That's, a, that's, that's what I am, Rabbi Al. Now, Rabbi Al finds in the Bible and in, and in, the, and in the rabbinical tradition yeah. that human beings in this third stage will not have any freedom of choice. They yeah. will be like computers, they will be like robots. Yeah, we never had any choice. Did I, we at any time? Uh, beautiful. Yeah, never Beauti no. beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. That is what I call... That's beautiful. They, they have put a shit box in, in our system. Right. I'm sorry to hear right, that. Right, 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 right. And then you see, whatever is coming out of our mouths is oral right, shape. Right, oral right, shape. Right, 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 right. And what is right, our, right. whatever There is, is this guy, Colin Wilson, who is one of the leading science yeah. writers of our time, scientists. And he says, freedom of will is an illusion. It is. It's an illusion. It is. It's just a fantasy. We think we're making choices. Not at all. Our choices are made by them, not by us. Who's them? Those who have created you and me, what you call uh, rabbi and yes. then you call the authorities. Yeah. The propaganda is what? No, no, that everything that you are saying. You've been programmed. Is what they have put in there. Okay. And then okay. you see, and whatever okay. is coming out okay. of uh, okay. the anal shit, uh, okay. is whatever they say is good for the body. This okay. is the anal shit and okay. then the oral shit. Okay. I'm sorry to use those two okay. phrases. That's good. Yeah. That's good. So what What my modus of vivendi, my uh, process or program, see, is to take their own words, turn it around, take off the cover that's hiding what's really there and say, here, Here's what it really says, and give up this business of authority that you know, you see, that what, I, what I am against is the idea that this system says we have all the answers and only we have, the system says we have all the answers, and I say that the whole thing is propaganda, yes. and let it go. And in order to get through, I have to hit the donkey with, with the two by four. That's the only mechanism that I know. So, I have to, in some way, I right. can't say, look at me, because I'm not Yuji. Maybe someday, who knows? No, I'll be lucky yeah, enough to be unlucky. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> you see, I don't want anybody to be Yuji. I, 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 beautiful, beautiful. You, see, you are so beautiful. unique. You are so unique. Beautiful. I'm telling you, 
Beautiful. Every human being on this planet is so unique. Okay. You see, the nature is not interested in creating perfect beings. Gotcha. It is only gotcha. creating perfect gotcha. species. Okay. When once, okay. Uh, whatever that word perfect means, yes. is perfected, yes. 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 nature yes. is yes. not yes. going to use that perfect being right. or a perfect species yes. as a model to create more and more and more. This is what okay. you are trying, okay. whether it is a okay. biblical sheet or the, the Hindu or whatever it is, right. Right. we are trying to create all human beings yes. on an assembly line. Absolutely. That is just Absolutely. not possible. Every Absolutely. individual Absolutely. is unique, so unique. I yes, assure absolutely. you that there is nobody like you anywhere on this planet. Okay. And so, if you Thank want... Thank God. I'm telling you. Thank God there's yes. only one. There's only one without a second. <laughs> without a second. Good. And we have placed before Good. ourselves the Good. Moses, the Jesus, Ga gotcha. and then gotcha. all gotcha. the other gotcha. guys gotcha. before gotcha. and forcing everybody uh, yes. to be like them. Why the hell do I want to be like that? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. I'm sorry. I we mean, want to have assembly line. I, I mean, totally. We agree. want to produce. Totally even agree. in nature, I don't accept there is any such thing as evolution at all. Okay. You see, when the process slows down, it takes a big jump. That is what they call mutation. Right. If there is any such thing as mutation. Right. And then you see what is the the result of that mutation, and what was there before this. Nothing common between it. Okay. It takes okay. course there okay. Okay. and moves further and further in its own way. If nature does not imitate anything here, it's here. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. We all want to be like that Jesus, like that. Now we right. see right. they are all gone for millions of people, you know, the movie stars, and then you see your baseball players. And all of them, you see, have become the icons, and then you see they are the models for us all. Huh? Thank God, they are all there because you see that was the only way we could escape from the hard realities of life to go to the church, to the temple, mm -hmm. to the mosque, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they exploited us. You know, even now they are exploiting today. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Because they have established themselves. Sometimes I watch those uh, evangelists. Can you imagine? <laughs> Can you imagine how many thousands and thousands of people clapping, falling into? ecstatic states and then parting with money, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. It's amazing how many channels you have on your television. Right. Some of them are really good, Very really good, good. good, you know. Yeah. Uh, we allow ourselves to be fooled, otherwise nobody in this world can fool you. Okay. Yes, I'm That's sorry. Good. That's good. That's good. Where is your new girlfriend? Photo. You what? said you brought the new No, no, I said I have a picture. Where is that? Oh, you want to see a picture? Oh, sure. I'll show you a picture. <laughs> Let's change the subject. Let's change the subject. Let's <laughs> see where my picture is. Uh, Why you didn't bring her? Well, that's a good question. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's a good question. I don't think she's ready for you yet. No, no. <laughs> I don't think she's ready for you. Until until my book sells, she's not in such a. Yeah, good, good, she, good she's not in such a. a, a no, let's see where I put it. What? Uh, you see, what you should do, my advice is that you don't even mention my name and put all these things as your own. It doesn't matter. Don't quote. But you are my own. No, 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 no. What I'm saying. You had an influence you in my. You had an influence in my life. You are, you are under no. Uh, you, you don't have to be thankful to. I, I'm not thankful. Are, are I wish you? I hadn't met you. Yeah. Life would have been a lot easier for me. Yes, Believe yes, me. You would have been a great uh, rabbi, making <laughs> thousands and thousands. <laughs> I wasn't going anywhere before I met you. Believe me, I was already on a, on a different path. With you, I began to understand what was happening. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, you want to put it on? <laughs> put it there on the... Wait, wait, let me... Wait, hold it still. She will give you that. Mm -hmm. You can take a video cassette. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. You got it? Thank you. Okay. My, my ex-wife became extremely religious. Still Jewish? Three, or she very Jewish. Very not Jewish. converted into any... No, 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 no. Jewish, Jewish, Jewish. Jewish, uh, very, very religious. And to your kids? Uh, they move to the other extreme. No, uh -huh. well, no, they're not... Uh, one lives on the edge of religion. Right. On the edge. Uh, one is very religious. One is very religious. And the other one in the middle is... Uh, this way and that way happened. She's religious, but uh, she's in religious because she has kids and she brings them up, Jewish and so on. She's a, she's a Yale Law School graduate. Yeah. She is uh, very sharp. Very sharp. There is one other woman in my life, for the purpose of my writing, who, who uh, a, a Catholic woman, who has been uh, very helpful in um, in editing my my material and working with it. It's already in progress. No, no, no. But the work that I've been doing, she's been helping me uh, focus on. It. Uh, but she has her own problems. She has her own problems. Uh, she went to Guru Mai, and, uh, and and she had problems before, but she's she's got problems. Uh, but she's been helpful, just for the writing and the ideas. It's very hard. Don't play with it. Don't sit on that. All right. I think I think we've uh, just about finished. Yes. Thank you for your visit. If you are, I'm here until Thursday. Yeah. And then I'm going to uh, Hilton Head there in South Carolina to get away from right. everybody. Uh -huh. And unfortunately, my family members, my son and yeah. grandchildren, live in Atlanta. Yeah. They want to visit me. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know if I'm going to handle them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I don't see them, they don't see me. They're all very, very successful people in this world. All of them mm. are uh, in the computer field. My son is, uh, I think, uh, working is a. Uh, Vice President of the computer section of Pepsi Cola or something, you see. Mm -hmm. All my grandchildren, it's a shame that your country cannot produce computers. Why the hell do you have to import people? Mm -hmm. You may have use their word from other countries, and particularly India. Mm -hmm. What is wrong with this country? Mm -hmm. uh, you tell mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. You cannot compete with anybody in any field, except in killing people. <laughs> and There's an article in yesterday's newspaper. I don't read Some newspaper. physicists went back to the textbooks yes. that they're using in the school. Yes. And he showed that the textbooks are full of mistakes. All of them. The textbooks. Yes, they are. And and he says, how can you how can yes. how can we succeed in anything? Can you imagine the well, guys? Put about, no, this, this it's is on. interesting. Oh, it's on. Yeah. Can, can he, you he imagine said, that well, box? They say those who go to the Harvard University yeah, they cannot yeah. spell words correctly. That's that's but he said the textbooks I know. say ridiculous things in the text. He says, how can you train scientists when the textbooks are not even right? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, America uh, has become very money-oriented. Money, money, the corporate world, the power of the corporate world is tremendous. Right? Yeah, it is. They have given the so much money world. to your president. Eh? The, the international the oil, corporations. Oil the most, the most, you one of the most terrible everything. things that I heard. If you take a nutrient called Kanz and Q10, you cross the border and you go to Canada, you get arrested. You're not allowed to take the nutrients into Canada. Yeah. And this is what they're trying to do now. They have something called, they call the Codex Elementarius. They want to set up rules coming out of Europe 
what nutrients you can buy, what nutrients you can sell. Now, by making it international, and America becomes part of it, all American rules don't count. No. So they will control the whole nutritional world and vitamins in America. You won't be able, if they got their way, you won't be able to buy vitamins without a prescription and with a minimal dose and so on. So it's this international thing, which America is unfortunately buying into, that is trying to control the world. This is the globalization. And, 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 and we've done ourselves a favor and we've let ourselves be bushwhacked, if I may use that term. And we're going to see it now much more with Bush. Much more. The only, the, see, the question that I struggle with is how bad does it have to get before it gets better? But what makes you think that we'll get better? We'll get better. Well, well what makes you think it is a, a wishful thinking on our part, but we right. are getting worse. See, in every area of our existence. Yeah. You see, this is what I was telling you. Your newspaper you are referring to, you see, they are planting acres and acres yeah. of land with eucalyptus trees. Yeah. Because they grow faster and then they can use them for making paper, right? Yeah. And when once it is finished, you can't plant any other trees there. And what the hell they are talking about? And why they talk about the ecology? I, I want what, to know. With what's happening now with... I want uh, to know. With we are creating with imbalance everywhere. Absolutely. And we are no more important than anything you see on this planet. And our only usefulness, if I may put it in such a crude language, is when we are dead, they will become more useful <laughs> to other forms of life mm -hmm. than alive. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm I mean, sorry. this thing that's happening in Europe with the mad cow disease. Yeah. This insanity of trying to save money and taking animals, grinding them up and feeding them to other animals. Yes, yes, I know. I mean, this is, this is... And, that's one and they tell you... You almost they, eat its own flesh. They, yeah, but... and the flesh is sick. Mm -hmm. The flesh is sick and, and they don't learn. They don't, you see, the they don't learn. You know, that's... Uh, I they can't a, learn. I made a statement in yeah. one of my interviews, I think, you yeah. see. They, they don't allow the cows to mate in Switzerland. Uh -huh. So the Swiss cows have become lesbians. <laughs> and then the German they, 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 cows, they, they, uh, cows have become fat seas. And the British cows, uh, cows are mad. And some, this girl asked me, what about the American cows? They suddenly... Uh, it must be timed in some way. Uh, this time, and then the, what about the American, <laughs> what about this girl, I said, the five-year-old girl asked her me, what about American cows? I said, yeah. American cows are paranoid yeah. and Australian yeah. cows are neurotic right. and Indian cows are spiritual. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> Where are you laughing? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> huh? Thank you, sir. Maybe we can meet again if you are not tired. I'm here for four days. Okay. And then I'm getting back on the 26th and stay in this area. You're coming back on the 25th? On my way back to Palm Springs. Uh -huh. no, so you'll be here a few days? To, no, only two days, 28th and 29th. 28th and 29th. No, no. 30th, 30th and 31st. 31st I'm going yeah. back. When? The week after next, you'll be back for four days. No, no, but I'm not Three. here. I go to Washington. This yeah. Year. And so... Monday, 20th, Tuesday, and Wednesday. 29th and 30th, I am here. 31st time. 29th and 30th. Okay. Maybe we can have some uh, chance. Thank you, sir. Nice. I thank you. Nice. I thank you. Meeting you again after so many years. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Where exactly do you live? How far you are away from this place? How far am I away from this place? Uh, it took yes. less than an hour to get down here. I'm north of the city. Not, not 20 minutes, Eugene. 25 huh? minutes it get, takes to get to Piermont. Huh? From at least where, from where I live. Yeah, it's not... It's Very not, close. It's not Just there. over the George Washington. As long as you don't hit heavy traffic. And up the Palisades, you know. Oh, I see. No, it's right right on the Hudson. Yeah. Very nice town. Do you remember you once came to me in the synagogue? Yes, yes. We yeah. didn't even go inside now, did we? I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> 
I wasn't I, there. Huh? Do you know, after what I told you, that will be the end of your relationship with the synagogue. Do you remember that? My relationship, you see, I was a chaplain. Yeah. So I was not dealing, I was a chaplain for the mentally retarded. Good. Uh, you see, so I was not dealing with with yeah. a usual congregation. Yeah. They can't defrock you. They do in churches and Catholic churches. That's true. Uh, That's true. That's true. That's true. That's yeah. true. So I stayed there uh, until I retired. Yeah. I stayed there almost there until you almost retired? twenty years. Oh, I didn't they know they closed it down. Actually, I see. And there were three clergymen, there was Jewish, Catholic, and Protestant. I was the last one to leave. Anyway, thank you for I your thank you. and nice meeting you. Maybe we'll have you. a chance to meet you. Okay. And you can have, she can send you that. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. The only other thing I wanted to do is I I brought a camera, but I don't, actually, I think I left it in the car. Well, we have no, cameras. We'll, we'll, take, we'll, we'll take pictures. Yeah, I thought I... I Maybe we'll drive train. up to Piermont or something. Huh? It's a nice yeah. drive. Yeah. We could go to Piermont. Right. You can see it. No. Is that a... It's, it's 35 and that's digital. Like that digital, digital you can see right away. Mm. It's more. Yeah. Mm. Merci. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. He will send you that video. Okay. <coughs> More Glasses reflecting. Mm -hmm. Oh, your glasses, yeah. My glasses are in the way. Slightly. All right. Oh, try yeah. Without my glasses. With just a couple of glasses. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have his address? I'll get it. something 